So I'm starting this wig stand by making the top. I have a piece of black walnut that's five inches around and two and a half inches thick and I pre-drilled a hole so that I can mount it on my chuck. So the past couple years I've been making wig stands in October to donate to a local women's organization. They give these out to women who are going through various forms of cancer when they lose their hair. They also collect wigs that they give out to these women for free as well. So all the wig stands that I've made in the past were all single purpose. So hold the wig while they were going through their treatment and they lost their hair. So I've been thinking why not make something that's multi-purpose so that they can continue to use it once they finish their treatments and they uh, get their natural hair back. So I came up with this idea of making the top multi-purpose and making a, a box out of it. So the next thing I want to do is drill a hole for the pull for the lid. I'm going to make it a really wide flat one so that the wigs will still be able to sit on top and it won't deform the bottoms of the wig. This will also give me a mounting point so that I can so that I can reverse the lid and uh, hollow out the inside of it a little bit. So now that I have the top all shaped and prepped, it's time to uh, part off the top of it so that I can make it into a box. So I'm just going to eyeball around the center and with my parting tool okay so that's the part for my the tenon for the top of the box now I'm going to come in with the parting tool that's a little bit narrower. Alright, so that's parted in enough. Now I'm just going to switch over to a 
a handsaw and just uh, cut it off like that. All right, so I'm just using my half inch bowl gouge to, uh, to hollow out the bottom half of the top. Okay, so that's it for the bottom. Next is to get my other jaw set up and mount the top on it so that I can take a little bit out of the top. Okay, so now that I have the bottom half of the box done, I need to work on the lid. So the first thing I need to do is I make, need to make a mark where that tenon on the bottom is going to be in relation to the top so that I can make it fit see the mark right there all right so that's close enough it's a little bit small but I'm going to be taking a little bit out of time to make sure that I get a good a good fit and try to sneak up on the right size. So I'm just going to hollow this out with a half inch bowl gouge. Okay, so now that I have that shaped out a little bit, I'm gonna come up with a negative rake scraper and just clean up the inside a little bit.
Okay, so now that I have that, it's time to come in with a square nose scraper and start uh, making the recess for where the, the bottom is going to fit on. bottom and give it a little bit of a dry fit and see what we got. I still got the bottom one, the, my other chuck. Yeah, no, I'm going to need to take a little more off than that. getting a little bit close to the corner there so instead of fitting the top to the bottom now I am going to mount the bottom back on and just fit the bottom to the top because there's plenty of meat on that tenon to remove. Okay, so the top is all fitted. It's a little bit of a loose fit, but that's okay because I'm going to put a, a lacquer finish on this so that will add a little bit of thickness to that, to that tenon and to the inside of the recess. Up next is we're gonna get the blank mounted to start working on the base. All right, so I have the base blank mounted. The first thing I'm gonna do is this is going to be the bottom. I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to turn a recess for my three inch chuck jaws to get this mounted on the other direction so that I can uh, shape it and turn the top. Alright, so the bottom is uh, smoothed out, so the next thing I do is uh, grab my calipers and my pencil and mark for my recess. Okay, so that's where I want to put my recess. So I'm gonna go with my half inch bowl gouge again and just clean that out a little bit. Alright, 
Now that I got most of the meat taken out with my bowl gouge, I'm going to come in with square nose scraper that I cut an angle on it that matches my dovetails on my jaws. So this is going to be the finished bottom, so I'm going to use a negative rake scraper to clean out the inside of that recess so that it's nice and smooth, and then I'll be ready to flip it over. So that's it for the bottom. Now we're going to just flip it and put it in my bigger jaws. So I want this part to be a little bit higher than the rest of the box and I want to uh, put a little dish around the rim so that they can put like rings and jewelry and stuff or coins or anything they want inside and not have to worry about uh, it falling off. Okay, so now that the outside shape, the next step is to make the spindle to link the uh, top of the wig stand to the base. Alright, so this is a 2.5 by 2.5 by 12 inch long piece of black walnut. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spindle rough and gouge and turn this into a cylinder.
All right, so now that I have a somewhat round, the next thing I need to do is I need to cut a tenon at each end to attach the top and the bottom to. I'm gonna be using a skew for this. Okay, so now that I got the tenon on both sides, it's time to uh, shape the spindle. Okay, so it's all shaped. Uh, I just got a little bit of sanding to do and this will be all done and ready to assemble. Okay, so uh, since everything is sanded, we're gonna glue the spindle to the base and to the top. And then my final step is I gotta turn a knob for the lid. So I'm just using a little bit of wood glue. Put a little bit around the tenon. And I personally like to twist it a little bit to spread the glue around. And then we'll put some around the recess on the top. Same thing, give it a little twist to spread the glue around a little bit. And then there's a little block of wood to add a little weight for a little while to hold everything together. And 20 minutes or so, it'll be ready to uh, take the weight off and then let it cure overnight. All right, so now that the wig stand is all assembled, the next thing I need to do, which is the final step, is to turn a knob for the top so that we could actually take the top of that little box part off. So I have another piece of black walnut mounted on here. It's three and a half by three and a half by two and a half inches thick. So first thing we do is make it round and then we'll start shaping the knob out.
All right, so that's it for the top. Now I'm going to switch over my tool rest and shape to the bottom and the little tenon that's going to glue into the top of the box. All right, so I have these calipers sized to my tenon. I'm just gonna cut a tenon and leave a little bit of meat there. Tenon doesn't have to be too long. I'm gonna use a parting tool for this. Okay, so my tenon's all made. Now I just got to do a little bit of sanding and then part it off. All right, so the last thing I need to do is just glue this knob in and it's ready to go down and get the spray finish on it. I'm gonna be putting on a water-based lacquer. Just put a little bit of glue on it. It was a little, a little messy with that. I just cleaned the tip of my glue bottle out. Apply Spin it a little bit to spread the glue around. Let that sit for a little while and it'll be all ready to go.